in the last video we looked at a non recursive implementation of binary search in this video we are going to look at a recursive implementation of binary search so we will again assume that we are given a sorted array a whose indices range from 1 to n and we are given a value named val which we want to check whether it's present or absent in this sorted array if we happen to find this value in this array then we would like to return the index or the position in the array a where the value is present if not we would like to return a flag indicating that the value was not found anywhere in this array so this is the function that we are going to use binary search which takes in four parameters it takes in the array a within which you are searching and it takes in two indices lower and upper which indicate the left end point of the sub array and the right end point of the sub array within a within which you are searching for the value so at any stage of the algorithm we won't necessarily be searching all over the array a we will our search will be constrained to a particular region within this array a it will be constrained to a sub array within the array a and lower and upper mark of the end points of that sub array so we are searching at any point this sub array starting from lower and going up to upper of course when we begin this algorithm lower will be initialized to 1 and upper will be initialized to n so when we call this function we will call binary search on this array a with this parameter being 1 this parameter being n and val being the value that you are searching for now within this function we will check whether lower is less than or equal to upper this will be true as long as we haven't narrowed down our search to a single sub problem uh, uh, to a sub problem of size 1 and failed there so the only condition under which lower will be greater than upper is if our search fails as we discussed in the uh, previous video and if this condition happens to be false that is if the lower index ends up being larger than the upper index then we will return that we did not find the value in the array but assuming that lower is less than or equal to upper we will determine the index of the middle element of the sub array so the middle element of the sub array will be the element at the index lower plus upper by 2 and taking the ceiling of this value and we are going to compare the value that we are searching for with the value of the middle element so we'll compare val with a of middle if the two happen to be same if the two happen to be identical then we have found the value that we were searching for at this index so we will return middle as the index at which we found the value else that is if the two values are not the same then there are two possibilities either the value we are searching for is less than the middle element or it's greater than the middle element if it's less than the middle element then we can constrain our search to the left half of the sub array and if it's greater than the middle element we can constrain our search to the right half of the sub array so if we have to constrain our search to the left half we can make a recursive call to the same function binary search where we are searching within the same array a but our end points of the sub array have now changed the lower end point remains the same because we are searching in the left sub array but the 
right end point of the sub array has changed from upper to middle minus 1 because the very last element of the left, left sub array is going to be middle minus 1 and we are searching for the same value. So we will make this recursive call to binary search with this parameter changed. And if the value we are searching for happened to be larger than the middle element, then we would need to search within the right half of this subarray. So if we want to make a recursive call, just restricting our search to the right half of this subarray, we will keep the upper index the same, but the lower index will change to middle plus one because middle plus one is the first element in the right half of this subarray. So lower has changed or, or instead of passing lower, we are now passing middle plus one, narrowing down our search to the right half of the subarray. And the other three parameters remain the same. We are searching within the same array, we are searching for the same value, and the upper index remains the same. So as we call this function binary search, with the parameters a, 1, n and val initially. The function will make recursive calls to itself on narrower and narrower regions within this array a until it either finds the element that we are searching for or lower will end up being greater than upper in which case it will just return not found. So whatever this recursive call into the left half or the right half of the subarray returns, we are going to return that as the result of this larger function. So the time complexity of this algorithm is going to remain the same as in the iterative version. The amount of time it takes to run binary search on an array of size n is basically equal to the amount of time it takes for us to compute this middle index and compare value, the value that we are searching for with the middle element. So that's just going to take a constant amount of time plus the amount of time it takes us to make a recursive call. So we're looking at the worst case time here. In the worst case, we need to make a recursive call on a subarray of half the size approximately. So we'll have t of n is c plus t of n by 2, which is the running time of binary search on an array of half the original size. And we have seen in the previous video that with for this recurrence, the solution we get is t of n is theta of log n. So the asymptotic complexity remains the same for the recursive version of binary search.